Hello and welcome back to another Van Manu video. Today I'm checking out version 1.2.1 of British Railway and today we're having a look at the brand new 350-3 in the London Northwestern Railway livery. If you haven't already checked out my review that I did on this train and the whole update, make sure you do that. And also if you could subscribe to the channel it would mean a lot and check out some of my other content. I actually have some pretty interesting stuff on in real life trains um, that I think you should check out and I think you would enjoy. Today we are travelling on the brand new 350-3 London Northwestern Railway livery, um, which I do think looks very very good. Now we are, can, can we go? We're meant to go by now, there we go. So we are going to Belmont Green, we're doing a sort of semi-fast. Um, so passing Northcote Elm Tree House, Fortis Green, we're calling at passing Henley Park, calling at Leeton, and then going all the way to Belmont Green in our four car 350 3. There are obviously other trains and new routes that were added, which I'm going to do individual videos on as well, so make sure you subscribe for them. Thank you for the, for the recent support, especially on that most recent update video. Um, it means a lot, and thank you for, for watching them. So let's have a look here. I, I do really like this train. I think I've in the update video I sort of gave it a bit of slack. Not slack. I sort of sort of was a bit mean to it because it hadn't got a London Northwestern Railway interior. But actually, I, I really like it. I think the interior is styled pretty realistically. As somebody who lives in the West Midlands and travels on these trains a lot, um, they are. It, it is. It is nice. And there's like first class and stuff. I'm not sure. Oh, I'm leaving you behind. Um, where's first class? Oh, here it is. Ah, yeah, like they've even done first class quite well. As you can see, I'm not very good with the free cam. Pretty cool though. Wee, wee. Let's go over here. Passing forty screen now. The one thing I would say, I do like the livery, but I don't like the FR. Obviously, in real life, the train has a WR, or is it? Is it like R then W? Um, but. It looks it looks better in real life, but obviously it's not it's not made for FR on it. But it still it still looks pretty good. It is incredibly realistic. I, I'm kind of shocked how you can sort of make a train that looks this sort of nice. Uh oh. But yeah, it's really it's really well done. I think. And even the first class I think is pretty cool. With the really sort of, it's a really bad first class. Um, in real life as well. They haven't really... the seats are a bit more padded, I don't think, I think they're just the same seats, but the really bad paper thing are on there still, which are... Uh, oh, you wouldn't upgrade to first class, but nowadays it's not on any London Northwestern train. Is this Henley Park? Who knows, well I guess we can... Can I have a... Uh, Elm Tree House, I knew that. There it is. Bye bye train. Can we zoom in? Oh, oh! You can tell I've never used this before. Sounds. I, I do like the free. I think the 350 is the best train um, in the game, just in terms of modelling and in terms of everything that the train has. The sounds of it too. Uh, I think perfect. Ah, uh, so this is in real life. This is Barnt Green Station um, near to. Bromsgrove in the West Midlands. Fun fact for you. I've stopped with the wrong marker, but I don't really care. Oh, a rebel. One person got on. What was that? Oh, is that just like the train fans or something? So I assume one day there could be a sort of extension over there somewhere. I have no idea what that sound is. Is our train on there? Oh yeah, there it is. Arrived. We have arrived. Water's green. It's pretty... It's not much here. <laughs> not much here if I'm being honest with you. Ten more seconds and then we can... Close the doors. Five, four, three, two, one. Are they doing it? Yes, look at this door closing content. Wow. Is 
See what I mean? It sounds cool. 350s are a really good acceleration actually. That's in real life, not just in the game. But yeah, I mean, they are very good electric units actually. I think they're, they're one of the most reliable in the UK. What stations do we skip then? Henley Park. I think they're going to be about a, a minute early for it. Wow. I'm back, guys. Henley Park there. Right, quite straight along. Right, now we're coming near Leeton, so we should probably expect. Oh, is that a red signal? Oh no. I know I'm speeding, I'm trying not to speed, but the train has really bad brakes. Please, please don't be. Yes! <laughs> it's not, it's not, it's not red. I would not have been able to stop in time for that. It's a rarity you get to go to to Leeson without waiting, but we've managed it. <laughs> Just looks apart there, doesn't it? Look how cool it looks. Wow. Look at that beauty. Right, where are the four car markers just up beyond here? Yeah, the brakes on this train aren't great, but electric trains tend to have worse braking for whatever reason. I don't know if that's a fact or if that's just what I've sort of learned, come to realise. We're two minutes early, oh my god. Leeton based off Shrewsbury, if anybody's interested. I have to remove the wires. Okay, that is actually quite cool short. This is my thumbnail, guys. Print screen. The whole thing. Bam. Thank you, snipping tool. <gasps> Pacer. <laughs> oh no. The train now approaches the one side. Mm, okay, it's not, it's only going to Preston Junction, even then that's quite far. Turbo Star, oh it's lagging quite a bit, oh I'm lagging, probably me, it's usually me. Right, let's get ready to rumble. Insane stuff all the way. On the home straight now. Basically three minutes to get there because we'll probably be early. Wait, is that is that yellow? That's green. For you. It just looks looks cool, isn't it? I mean, it's modelled so well. I don't. I wouldn't even know where to start. But if I'm developing this. But yeah, oh, I'm speeding. There's one of the other new trains, which we will review in a separate video. Like and subscribe. One thing I've always said about it is that there's just not enough passengers. Like, this train has like five passengers on it. Like, it's sort of unrealistic, I would say. You know, they wouldn't normally run a service with like five people on it. So it, that's one thing I would love to see, some more, more passengers. Make trains a bit more busy, make a rush out or something. I don't know, it would be nice, but I can, I can see that there's constraints behind that. Passing, I don't know what it's called. Wooden. I think those barriers have come down quite, quite late. <laughs> okay, we've got to slow down now. Well, it's quite the distance actually. Before it, before Belmont Green moved, it was literally like just here, the station. But it's it was moved. Small street viaduct. In real life, that's abandoned. So yeah, where, the line that that would connect to would then run along there and London Moor Street, which is here in Birmingham and then into New Street. So yeah, this is Birmingham Wall Street Station in, in the game. Oh my god, we're speeding by about 30 miles an hour, but it's fine. It's 
speeding never hurt anybody, did it? Mm, don't quote me on that, please. So yeah, please be quiet. <laughs> In conclusion, we have driven this 350-3, the brand new class 350-3, all the way from Millbridge the train to now Green. Platform. Three, terminate. Alright, you're being shut out now. We have checked out the brand new London Northwestern Railway livery that it has come with and the ex London Midland interior that it is due to it being a 350-3 variant that's the interior that it has. We've looked at how well modelled it is, how cool the livery is although not my favourite livery and how the 350 is just generally a cool train that we're going to hit the buffers with. We've come quite far and um, I would say that we've done We've done quite well. And the 350 has done very well. It's, it's a very good train and it's a very good addition to British Railway. So on that note, thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you have enjoyed. I will be looking at the Transpennine Class 350 and all the other um, additions to the brand new update, including looking at the brand new route um, as well in the future. So make sure you subscribe for that. If you just want a brief overview, um, you can get that by uh, clicking the link in the description below uh, by my review video or checking out my channel by clicking on it. If you want to play the game, link is in the description below and uh, a subscription would be greatly appreciated as well as a like if you enjoyed. And on that note, I would like to say thank you very much for watching. Hope you have a great day. See you later. Bye bye.